Okay, I've got a really fun little winter craft for you today. We're going to be making tissue paper trees. Um, I'm starting with three triangles drawn out on a regular sheet of paper. And the first thing we're going to do is use some old tissue paper to tear up and glue down to that piece. Now I have just a whole bunch of scraps here that I've collected from all kinds of different things. Um, big pieces, that's too much. You want to tear these off to where they're about the size of the the tip of your thumb. That's a pretty good size for these. I like to tear off a few to get myself started and then I'll show you how to get those glued down. Um, I think a variety of colors is really fun for this project. Um, I always like things a little bit more colorful whenever I can. So I'm going to tear just a few of each one of these. All right and and again if you're if you're working with young kids, you want to make sure that they're not putting big, huge things or crumbling them up like that. That's just too big. Tell them just the size of the tip of your thumb like this. Okay? So once you have a few little scraps ready to go, we're going to just use a glue stick to glue those down to the whole triangle. Now we want to make sure that we have each one of these nice and flat. Sometimes whenever we do tissue paper projects, we'll crumble them up and glue them down. But today is a day where we want them to be flat. Um, and you want to make sure that they go right up next to each other as well on this and all the way to the edges of our triangle. We're going to just fill the space like so all the way up. All right, and one more. Let's see if I can get a different color in that spot just to give us more variety. I'll tear that one down. Okay, that looks great. Okay, now one thing you might notice is that whenever you do that, you've got a few pieces that are sticking up like this. Well, I have a solution for that. This is a little bit of liquid glue diluted down with some water. And we're going to take that with a sponge brush and just tap on top. And what that will do is it just lays everything down nice and flat. Okay, now this is going to leave you with a wet, sticky mess, so you want to make sure to let this dry. We've been letting ours dry um, from one class period to the next, but if you probably just a, a few hours would do the trick. Okay, all right, so I'm going to set that aside and do step two of the project. Step two is our background. We are going to be using crayons to create a nice little wax resist background here. All right, I'm going to start turning my paper horizontal like this. Draw a nice, big, wiggly snowbank, just like that. Up here on the top, this is going to be our snow at the bottom. Up here at the top is going to be our sky. Now, you can add snowflakes in a lot of different ways. Some fun ways to do it is maybe an X with a cross shape on top of it. I see a lot of people do that. You want to try to get a variety of sizes as well. And I'm using blue right now so you can see it, but here's the cool thing. You can do the same thing with white. Oh my goodness, and this will be like magic. And I think I've shown you a wax resist um, video before. This is always fun. Um, if this is a, a difficult shape for you to do, um, you can always just put polka dots on here instead, and that will work just as well. Okay, so for the wax resist, I'm just using some watercolor paints, and I need a little bit of water. get my water but here it is okay so we're gonna take a little bit of water and put it in that blue watercolor right there and say wake up watercolor it's time to go to work okay and we're going to take this and just paint some nice long strokes across our paper and you will see see that white one that I did right there starting to shine through this is really fun and you can use other colors if you don't want just blue and white like I did you can use any color you want for your snow. Who says snow has to be white? Maybe in Magic Imagination Land, snow could be purple with yellow polka dots. Who knows? I like getting a little crazy sometimes. All right, but the goal here is that you want to keep your brush strokes nice and smooth and overlap them every time you go across. That will give you a nice clean wash across your sky. All right, now here's something I want the kids to notice. We're not going to paint this all the way to the bottom. This is our snowbank, so this stays white. So on this last one, we're going to have to carefully paint right along the edge. This takes a little bit of brush control. 
might be difficult for the little ones, but this is good practice. I'm doing this project with kindergarten this week, and it's actually been working out really, really well. They're doing a fantastic job with it. Okay, so that is our background. Now, that's step two completed. Step three, we're going to come back to this, and we're going to cut out every shape that we had here. I've got a few that I've already done here. And I've got one more. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate our cutting. When we cut, we always keep our thumb pointed up, thumbs up, ready to cut. And we're going to go right along the black line. And you'll see we're cutting off some of the stuff that we did before, but that's okay. That's the plan. We want to have a nice, crisp, clean tree to work with right here. All right, so now we have three beautiful, colorful, trees. We're going to lay those out however you want. I like the big one to be in the middle. I think it looks nice like that. Um, and we're going to glue those down with a glue stick, which I'm not going to do right now, but you get the idea. Um, you can also add a little brown square to the bottom of each of those. So it looks like the trunk of a tree. And then here's something really fun. If you have any of these little hole punch, um, like a hole puncher that, you know, you have lots of paper that you use sometimes, you can take these and you can even glue them on, sprinkle them about. You'll have to glue them on individually, you know, but this, this can make some more extra snow on the front if you want to use some of that. Let's see, I've got just a little bit more right here. Now you will have to glue this on. I'm just placing it on to kind of show you right now but it kind of gives you an idea of what the finished product will look like. So there we have it. Colorful tissue paper winter trees.